Welcome to the making of ASAP TW, Arduino Switch and Annunciator Panel with Trimwheel. It consists of Annunciator Panel, a Switch Panel, and the Auto Rotate Trimwheel. We can now use the physical switches like in a real aircraft. First ever Auto Rotate Trimwheel for a home simulator and a visual light display for our flight controls. Together, we named it as ASAP TW. With this video, Simivision encourages you to make your own flight simulator at home. So, let's begin. With the components, we mainly use the Arduino Uno and Mega 2560. With rocker switches, LEDs, resistors, jumpers, rotary and toggle switches and relays. For the trim wheel, we use the disc of a container. It's very interesting. We see the video in the end with pulley gears and other uh, equipments. And for the boxes, we use the project boxes. For our requirement, we used a specific uh, dimension along with a 25 pin RS-232 printer cable to connect all these three boxes together. Let's start with the construction and assembly. We initially started with our uh, switch panel box and uh, we made holes to put our uh, toggle switches in there. And um, you can see because toggle switches are round, so we had to make those uh, toggle switches and then made the squares and other holes for uh, the other switches. Here we can see we are putting the rocker switch and a rotary switch. We wired them together using the same wire I told you about. And then we started uh, drilling uh, for our annunciator panel. We wired all our LEDs uh, together along with the resistors to the same uh, wire to go to the controller. Uh, let's start with the programming the controller, uh, especially Omega 2560. To program the controller, we have to go to realsimcontrol.com. It was also called as Hixi and SimVim earlier, but now it's called Real Sim Control. So, uh, to in order to operate uh, your controller, you have to install a plugin, and uh, you can go to this plugin from downloading here. Uh, this is a plugin page, and uh, you have to go to uh, the Sim Vim X plugin page, download and install the plugin. Uh, you can see the latest version here, and it gives you all the instructions regarding the plugin installations, how you have to do it, how to plug in. Once the plugin is installed, the best part is whenever you uh, run your explain, the plugin automatically gets enabled, and it will switch on your uh, your panel automatically. So uh, let's uh, go to the uh, configurator part. Uh, in this uh, page, uh, you can configure all these instruments uh, on your controller. It's very simple. Go through this page and instruction sets. So uh, let's say uh, these are the configuration uh, when we see uh, the pages up there. Uh, let's go to the audio. and. Uh, in our uh, audio panel, uh, we have switches and we have lights and buttons. So when we click the first one, we have button and uh, light option. Let's click on the button option. When we do that, it says momentary switch. That means it's uh, anticipating an input on that particular uh, switch. So we select a pin and that becomes the configuration. Then we use the LED. Uh, in here, again, you see LED is a digital output. We select a pin. That means that pin is configured to give uh, LED output. Uh, let's put a toggle switch. We can use any switch, here, any pin of the controller. That means uh, now when you use a toggle switch to switch on and off, it will trigger that particular function to work. It is as simple as this. Now, like for example, to run a Cessna engine startup uh, rotary switch. I used uh, this uh, rotary switch, uh, the one you saw on the construction. Uh, we used a multi-position uh, rotary switch, so let's go for that one here. And you'll see 
it takes five inputs so means when I click at one you'll see there are five different inputs for this particular switch there are five pins configured to accept a particular input and every input has a particular action uh, on, on the card similarly if you want to use the another de devices like uh, um, your encoder rotary encoder we just click on that rotary encoders are usually encoder knob rotary knob along with a push button we will use um, a rotary knob and it will work as a one of the input switches like the one previously and it has two uh, inputs so when we select a pin it will reserve two pins to be as input so you see these two pins here uh, they will become uh, the inputs for the positive value and the negative value through that encoder. Now let's go to the lights. Now this seems to be a little interesting uh, thing. Uh, in here you can see we have a toggle switch uh, for the different lights like strobe lights, side lights and nav and strobe lights or a beacon light. Now that switch will enable the light to function right uh, like for example let's say we click on the strobe light it's a toggle switch we click on that we enable the pin we use nav we use another pin for the nav but they are all input switches when we click on the beacon again it's a toggle switch we but we take that particular pin but there is no light led button so uh, what we did, we saved the file, uh, that's data.cfg. Uh, you can see where you have to copy to. You open that file, that is uh, the data refs from the explain. Now we have two sections, one is an input, another is an output. All the input sections are with S, the output is with L, that means switches and lights. What we did in here is uh, we added two lines in this L4 for the weekend and L5 for the strobe light. Now these are what will give a LED output. That's a little change we did. Now the only problem is that the strobe light is supposed to work as a strobe light and a beacon supposed to blink like a beacon. But those lights will only give the uh, constant lights making of our lights this is interesting we use the uno with a relay it gives us all the functionalities so uh, if you can see on the left side the uh, uno controls the weekend and the strobe light and uh, mega controls this switch and the annunciator panel using uh, real sim control this is a schematic of uh, uh, the uh, Arduino, so then the, uh, this one is Uno, and uh, then we have the Mega 2560. So you can see uh, this is um, the LED for the beacon, which is controlled by Uno, and uh, Mega is uh, giving the output to the relay, and which is controlling a strobe light controlled by Uno. And uh, again, it works as a switch, but the program is actually run by uh, Arduino Uno. And um, the relay is just working when, it's, when it has the LED output, it works. Now, this is uh, the program you can always download. It is uh, there in the link uh, description below. And um, this is the layout and the schematic of uh, how you can make that particular lights for the beacon and the strobe light. The uh, working prototype uh, you can see is working now and then we have installed our beacon, beacon light and a strobe light as uh, live lights. Uh, trim wheel, uh, interesting part. Now in Trimville we use this uh, container box uh, and uh, we use the lids, they are like plastic uh, round lids, very light. We joined them together and then we painted them white all over and once the paint dried up we put a, a gaffer tape or a paint tape 
we paint it black again. When we removed the tape, it was white. And then we used a pulley in the center to fix it with the motor. And there you are, you can see, this is how we made our trim wheel. The assembling of the trim wheel was very interesting. We used the motor, a DC motor and a driver. We used a L298N, bidirectional DC motor driver. Means uh, whenever there is an input on a particular pin, the motor will run forward. And if there is an input on the other pin, the motor will run backwards. We used a, a green and red dual color LED to show uh, the trim up and down function. Here is the final output. You can see our three monitors simulator. You can uh, see our uh, beacon light and the strobe lights along with KEFCS, the announcer panel, and it's uh, real fun. And I hope you liked it and uh, you will be able to make uh, one for yourself. If you have any questions, please uh, send us uh, your remarks, your comments, and uh, do subscribe and share, and uh, also press the bell button so that uh, you can be informed for our new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.